In my previous video with the forced air wood burning flower pot, I was afraid that my air supply in the form of a mostly gutted battery powered vacuum cleaner motor was going to overheat with sustained use. So in parallel with that project, I've been working on a potential replacement or substitute for the battery powered vacuum cleaner motor. This is a nominally 120 volt AC powered vacuum cleaner motor, full size vacuum, that I grabbed from the scrapyard. This one works. I currently have it connected to 24 volts DC, which these universal motors will run on with no problem. That can still move a fair bit of air, even at a fifth of its rated voltage. I've been experimenting with taking these little baffle plates off. These would normally sit like that to guide the air up through the motor to cool it, but since it's not dissipating very much power in this state, I'm going to see what happens if I take these off, see if I can get some more airflow. Over here, I've just taken this little plastic tub and have been shaping this into a little air catcher such that I can attach a hose up top. As you can see, I'm still firmly in the duct tape engineering stage of development, though despite the crudeness, this prototype is working quite well. Clear housing, I realize, lets me check the motor for any undesired operation, such as it catching on fire. Though at only 24 volts and 2 amps, it does not get very hot at all. Same 1 inch diameter tubing I used in the flaming flower pot experiment, part 1. And this still can move quite a bit of air, despite the low power. Unfortunately, we do not have time this evening to test this setup. I'll probably get around to testing it in about a week's time. Just get, get some more sticks on fire in the flower pot and see what that will do when this is the air supply instead of the other vacuum. And if need be, I can probably find another car battery and get this up to 36 volts, which should be plenty of airflow and plenty of pressure to get the forge, glass melting, whatever it's going to be running. That's all, and thanks for watching.